In the previous video, we learned how to work with get requests. In this video, let's learn how to work with post requests. For our example, we are going to allow the user to submit a comment which will get stored in the comments array we have in the data folder. Let's begin. There are two steps to implement. For step one, we are going to deal with the front end. So in the comments page component, we are going to allow the user to type in a comment and submit it. Let's maintain the user input in a state variable called comment. The setter function is set comment and the initial value is an empty string. In the JSX, we are going to add an input and a button. So input type is equal to text, value is equal to the comment state variable and on change of the input, we update the state variable. So it gets an event and we call set comment passing in e.target.value. After the input, I'm going to add a button to submit the comment. So button text is submit comment and on click I'm going to assign a handler called submit comment. Let's now define this function. const submit comment is going to be equal to an async function. The function is going to make a post request to the same API route we defined in the previous video. So within the function body, we make a post request using the fetch API. const response is equal to await fetch. The first argument is the API route, which is slash API slash comments. And since this is a post request, we also need to specify the second argument as well. This is an object where we specify method as post and the body is going to be stringified JSON of the comment. So object literal, the key is comment and the value is also comment. So we can use the shorthand syntax. Since we are sending JSON data, we specify the content type in headers. So headers, object, content hyphen type is going to be application slash JSON. Once we get back the response, we are going to convert it into JSON. The const data is equal to await response.json. And then I'm going to simply log the value to the console. So console.log data. So that is our step one. Making a post request from the front end, sending the comment as data. For step two, we handle the post request in our API route. Now when we handled the get request, it was pretty simple as get is the default verb the handler caters to. Handling a post request, however, is a little more verbose. We have to begin by checking the incoming request type. We do that using request.method. So within the function body, if request.method is equal to get, we simply return the response we had from before. However, if request.method is post, we need to do a few additional things. First, we extract the comment from request body. So const comment is equal to request.body.comment. Here, comment refers to the property we have set in the front end. Once we have the text for the comment, we form a new comment object. Each object has an ID 
and a text field as you can see here in comments.js. So our new comment is going to be an object with ID set to date.now since that is the easiest way to have a unique ID during development. And the text field is going to be the comment we have received from the front end. Once we have the new comment object, we simply push it onto the array. So comments dot push new comment. Comments here refers to the comments array defined in the data folder. Then we respond with the status of 201. So rest dot status 201. And the JSON is going to be the new comment object. And that is our post handler. Let's save both the files and test this out in the browser. If we navigate to localhost 3000 slash comments, we should now see an input field with a submit comment button. Let's fill in test comment and submit it. We get back the 201 response, which is the new object that was pushed onto the array. So if we now click on the load comments button from the previous video, we should see the new comment added to the array. The ID is the date value and the text is the comment we submitted. So when you're making a post request, make sure to include the second argument to fetch indicating the method and the request body. In the API handler, check if request.method is post and if it is, extract the body from the request object. You can then proceed to store that data in your database or in a temporary array as it is the case with our example. Finally, make sure to send back the response. So that is about handling a post request with API routes in Next.js. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.